humans and souls. Yes, this is Lafon. We're back for another episode of Worm World. Yes, we are back, and uh, yeah, let's let's see what. Oh my! So yeah, <laughs> it's been a while since I played this. I kind of forgot what was going on, and yeah, it turns out we have a slave escape and uh, some ra uh, bandits. So that that's that's amazing. I think I yeah I did send out my brachiosaurus and Sue out trying to take down this guy. There we go. But the other problem is the slave escape. Okay, where's the slave? Ramentius? Oh, he, he's just trying to dig out through the wall. Okay, uh... Okay, Goyle? Uh, Guerra Nepono. I think you guys can go ahead and let's just try beating this guy. Right. Okay, they're fleeing. Right. That means that these guys can go back. Yes. We did get an auto pistol and four grief. Not so sure what that does. But look at Fuller the Slaughterer. He's just smiling. <laughs> uh, okay, Colonist re needs rescue. Okay, there we go. The slave is no longer escaping, I think. Yes. Okay. Just need to build that. Right, so we have our rustic rug. We have some things, right? So what were we gonna do? Uh, what, 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 what are the things that we were gonna do last time? Uh, we need to. There's a lot of dinosaurs we could possibly tame. Uh, but not really now because right now we're running out on food, right? Yeah, we need. Uh, we need some form of. Uh, yeah, nutrient paste. Nutrient paste is probably. The one most important thing that we need if we want to make a dinosaur uh, village. So we still have Orbit, the Tortal. Uh, yeah, let's just have you re attack. I think what we need to do is we need to have a pen for all these snails. Because these, these snails are probably... Like, the fact that we got them so early on in the game is pretty OP. Depends on, like, how long we can keep them alive. But if these guys decide to reproduce, you can have an endless amount of rains of polymer. Which means that, essentially, we can just make armor and stuff for absolutely free. Since it's all being made by the snails. So, yeah, polymer armor is pretty good, I think. So, you also need some tending. That's a little bit of a gunshot, right? Your body and tail. How about Brachio? Oh, you have an asthma. Yeah, that, that's an issue. A uh, scratch scar that, that we got from fighting the Clicko. Okay, so we have Guerra and Nippono, and where's Toba's house? Does Toba not have a house? Yeah, Toba still has, is living in his tent. In her tent, I think. Yes, but she's a female. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, let's try to make another building, I guess. About electricity, yes. We can do that. Build electric stuff. Do we have enough for electric stuff, that is? Like, we need batteries. We need uh stuff. Like, there's a lot of things that we need to do. And it is fall, so there's also winters also going to be on our way. Hmm. Yeah, this, this is probably not the best time to start taming more dinosaurs. Winter is coming. You know, there is a Lystrosaur. He's all the way over there, though. Hmm. He's, if you, I think if you hunt them woolly rhinos, you can use their horns and you can sell them for a lot of money. But Again, they're, they're over here, so if some dinosaur dies over here, we're going to have to carry them all the way around our canyon and back into this hole. So, just not going to be good. So do we have any wood? Yeah, we do have a bit of wood, but not by much. So yep, it, 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 but yeah, it turns out that oh, uh, giving uh, giving the log to Matthias was actually a really gamer move. <laughs> Because if it didn't, he would probably start beating us up with a gun or knife or whatever the hell he found. 
Speaking of guns, yeah, uh, we do have this, so let's move our silver. Yep, and auto pistol. Who is our best shooter? Goyle, you can equip the pistol. Right. We got guns now! Cargo pod weapons. I have never seen something useful come out of this. I'm not even shitting. Yeah, look at this. A knife. Who needs knives? Like, it's just one thing that I don't understand with RimWorld. Oh, yeah, the, the, the... Like, everyone says that melee is good, but I just... I don't personally understand. Uh... <clears throat> so, hello, gentlemen. Hello, chops. Welcome back. So, travelers seek charity. Okay, uh... A group of poor travelers are approaching looking for help. The travelers are begging for 20 herbal medicine. They need the medicine to attempt a life-saving operation on a fellow traveler who was attacked by mechanoids. We know they're lying because this world doesn't have mechanoids. It only has dinosaurs. <laughs> you lied. If he said something like an Allosaurus or a Spinosaurus, maybe. Mechanoids in this world? No, we don't have those. <laughs> I think, yeah, uh, we will probably focus on uh, farming. Once it becomes winter, though, like, it's gonna be really cold throughout the winter. So my plan is just to have all of them just sit around and, uh, have all of them just sit around and, uh, and research throughout the winter. That is our plan. So you have, uh, hearts and parka, parka. You have a jacket, parka. You also have a parka, right? Yep. Made out of ratanoid silk. Will you please, like, finish up making the parka? Yeah. That way Nippono can have her clothes, too. Right. Offer them projection. <laughs> I mean, we don't have to help these people. I, I, I think these quests, they only matter for people that actually have some, uh... Yep. Yeah, you can choose to kill, arrest, sell, or harvest them. Oh, wait! You can choose to kill, arrest, sell, or harvest them. Wait. I can do that? Wait, are you guys good? He's a shitzoid guy. World wary. Perfectionist. Okay. Mountain lover, masochist. Wow. <laughs> he's an he's a good artist and melee. Yeah, I mean, I think Cohen might be somewhat good, but I don't know what shitzoid actually does. I think it means that like, he's just gonna break down. I don't know what utter meltdown means. That that might mean like he might just go all around on a killing spree or something. So that's the worst thing that could possibly happen. So, I mean, again, like it's it's the winter. So the first year winter is it's 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 just like real life. Like the first winter is the hardest. Once you survive that, you can kind of like survive much better for the rest of the period. But right now, what we need is to survive the winter. Once we get to survive the winter, we can... will be good. What else do you need? You need groin? Uncovered groin or chest? What do you mean? What? Literally have this. Oh, you don't have, uh, you don't have any pants, right? Are these pants? No, these are more Parkers. Right, we have a merchant. Uh... Okay, they're shaman merchant. Ooh, look at that. I, I love seeing these merchants, right? Even if I don't necessarily buy anything off of them, it's just nice to see all these various dinosaurs just roaming around. Okay, let's make some pants. Five pants. You are good with crafting, so that's good. Okay, 
Yeah, they're gonna take a while to get all the way to our base, though. Yep. Low medicine, okay. We don't have medicine. I mean, there's some heal root. Hobbs that. I mean, we are also going to meet a, sh a shaman merchant, so they probably have some healing stuff. Oh! Ornithosuchus! Oh, they killed a wild Ornithosuchus! That's great, that's more food. So who is the best when it comes to social? Guerra is, but not by much. Oh my. Oh, there he's attacking the baby Pachyrinosaurus! Oh, oh, animal transport pod. A brontosaurus named the trinket. What bronto? Oh. Oh, it's a big guy. Uh, oh, he's, he's a big fella. Oh, my. Uh. <laughs> Do we tame it? I mean, we could try. Uh, I mean, we'll, we'll give it a shot, right? Uh, but the problem is that I know that those brontosaurus eat a lot. So if that guy just eats all through all my food storage during winter, it, th and then we can just slaughter it, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, I our goal is to tame as many dinosaurs as possible, but in this situations like this, I, I don't know if that's possible, right? Uh, so Goyle, you go ahead and try to rescue the Bronto. Rescue Trinket. I I love how it's named a Trinket. Isn't Trinket something that's like a, something small that you put onto it? <laughs> it's, name, it's, 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 it's like the equivalent of naming like an elephant peanut. Let's, let's, let's see what these guys have. Oh, the, this pack rhinosaurus is... Yeah, he's got loads of blood. The, the Ophia Codon is also gonna die. So hey, I mean, even if I don't necessarily buy anything off of them... Are you guys already moving? Well, are these- are they already heading off? Wait. I don't think we traded with them. Uh, wait. Karma Merchant. Oh, they're already leaving! Oh, they're, they're already leaving! Oh my god! Oh, come on! We didn't even get to trade, you bastards! Well, I mean, we did get two dinosaurs, uh, not dinosaurs, but prehistoric reptiles for dinner, so yeah, that's something. So, what is up with Trinket here? Uh, there it is. He's just got a bit of crack on his spine. Right, okay. Let's see if this guy's gonna join us. Look at all this food. It's frozen too, right? Yep, it's frozen. Where do we even live? I think we live in the Alpine, right? It was a tempered forest. I love how the fact how he's just able to carry a whole Brachius or Brontosaurus without struggling. Yeah, that's RimWorld! <laughs> Uh, it, it's just a regular tempered force. Okay. What is this though? Uh, silver for silver mining worksite. Ooh, that. There's only two people there. Oh. Wait, two people? That might actually be doable. 
with our Brachydeos and T-Rex. Do we train them to attack, though? How's their training going along? Six. Okay. How's Brachydeos? Eight. Okay. Honestly, I think I can just send uh, one Brachydeos towards the bandit camp. Wait, oh, he is... Okay, let's try taming this. Okay. Let's feed him some nuts, some berries. Okay. Oh, we tamed failed. It's 62% chance. So eh, we can, we'll be able to do it. Uh, visitors? Oh, it's just just random dude. Okay, I don't know why you need to. You had to inform me about that. It's a random ass dude. I don't care. Do this. We do need to make another house for Nippono, right? No, for uh, Toba. Toba doesn't have a house yet. Okay. Ophia Codon is going to bleed out in six hours. Oh, two wild Tyrannosaurs appeared? Oh, we got more T-Rexes. They do, they do look a bit different than the ones that we have in our base. I think they're from a different mod. They're a different subspecies. <laughs> Making pemmican. Make more pemmican. Yes. We need those pem... I'm not going to allow to eat for these people to eat any pemmican. Unless we're running out of food. It's just the last resort. A wild chlorosaurus. Oh, that's a Dilo. It's a JP Dilo. You know what? We are going to tame this guy. <laughs> right, I know what I know what I said about the winter being tough, but I think we can last it. But we have a lot of food here. We have loads of food. I think we should be able to make it through. We can tame the Chlorosaurus. He's essentially like a Dalo, right? Yep, it's genetically engineered dinosaurs related to the Dilophosaurus. AKA it's just the Del JP Dalo. <laughs> Pretty much useless in, in anything, though, unfortunately, because it's just, it's just a small dinosaur. It doesn't do much. But hey, we need, we need one for the Ark. <laughs> we aren't leaving this planet until we have every single animal in this mod, in this world. So hello, Jody Moon. Welcome. All right, let's tame this Chlorosaurus. Gently touch. The more meat. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> we tamed the Chlorosaurus by touching a vulnerable body part off of it. Okay. I don't know how that worked, but yeah, sure. Right, so how are we going to name this guy? You shall be named Nuggy. Right. Are you going to keep the dialogue and make it seem like a deity? I mean, we could! <laughs> He's going to our base, though. Right, what about the Bronto, though? Bronto. Like, we have just this giant random Bronto in the middle of, you know, middle of a temple. 
And yeah, that's gonna go out well. I mean, we have, a, we have like, this this girl being crushed underneath the Brachidios, and she's still somehow sleeping, so... <laughs> well, that, that's room roll for you people. Like, it's 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 an issue because, um... Uh, because a lot of the creatures in RimWorld, the base game, the, I think the biggest animal in RimWorld is, like, an elephant, which is not that big, if you think about it. Like, it's big for a human, but if, you, if you're in a world with dinosaurs, like... Like, yeah, every other dinosaur is as big as an elephant, so... And because there's, like, a limit to how big an animal can be... So you have, essentially, have, like, bra Brontos, Brachios, that are only, like, 200, 300 kilograms. <laughs> Which make no sense. They should be more, like, six, seven tons, but... Yeah, making a random dino with ET for a cult. I mean, we could do that, but... Originally, I think our faction's venerated animal is actually supposed to be the Trilobite. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it is funny because it's a trilobite, which means that it, it's it's an aquatic animal, so there's no chance of us actually getting one. <laughs> we'll have to somehow find a way to get a trilobite. We'll have to just hope it just falls out of the sky or something. <laughs> so how's research? Oh, we're almost halfway there to nutrient paste. Ooh, we have a gift! Vilcana Leather Parker! What? Damn. Uh, imagine if we randomly find an Elder Dragon. Jody, you literally, you summoned it. You summoned the, Vil the Vilcana Leather Parker. <laughs> I mean, we we did randomly find an elder dragon. It's just that it's 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 turned into a Parker. But hey, I mean, we you didn't wish for an alive one, did you? <laughs> What's with Rimworld? And the moment you guys talk about something, it just you guys immediately immediately just conjure yourself upon something that has something to re relate to what you've been talking about. It's wild. <laughs> They can still carry it without struggle. Actually, Chops, you do have a point. How how can they carry an elephant? <laughs> that makes no sense, does it? Yeah, they, they can't, in fact, carry an uh, elephant. That's so weird. I mean, Vilcana Leather Parker, that's, that's like way better than anything else that we have, right? Because it has 36 armor. How about our other Parkers? You have 29. You have 15. You have 21. Arachnoid Silk is 6. Wow, just 6? The Vulcan has 36. <laughs> right, you know what, Guara? You can wear the Vulcana Park. It is probably the best. Whoever is probably the best colonist that we have. Because she's the one doing all the research. So for now, we're going to have her. And she can also do social. And not by much, but it's still something. There we go. So we all have Parkers for now. One of the Elder Trio. Who knows? Uh, the, why are why are these guys still making parkers? Right. Yeah. Okay. Yes. What is Matias doing? He's cleaning dirt. Oh, he wasn't. He's he has Taylor at at three, not at one. There we go. Right, would you just please focus on actually making those damn clothes? We're freezing out here. The Goyle. Tame trinket. Yes. Let's go! Let's tame a giant Bronto! Oh, let's go! We tamed Trinket! We have a big Bronto! Right. You shall be attacked. You are gonna be our war beast.
Oh no, Lystrosaur is dead! No, it's the one that we wanted to tame. Oh, a zoological trader. Okay, these guys have a lot of rare animals. We can also sell animals that we have. You know, uh, let's see. Oh, it's a female proto, it's a male proto. Okay, so we do actually need the both of them. But, but do we need them, honestly? Like, we need one for the Ark. I wouldn't say we need the other one. Because we aren't going to do anything with it. Like, we aren't trying to breed up an army of war protoceratopses. You know, that would be pretty cool, though. But I, I think right now, again, we, we are running low on food. I mean, there's winters coming up, though. So. 188. You know what? That, that's a fair, a fair amount of money. A fertilized giga, not a Saurus egg? What? <laughs> and it's it's a steal. It only costs you nine bucks. <laughs> a giga, not a Saurus egg. Let's go. <laughs> let's get that. Uh, let's see what else do we not need. Let's let's sell our pterosaur hide. Uh, let's sell our. No, we don't. We need. We do need the scale fell for now. Downy hide, not so good for our defense. But, like, with 24 leather, we can't make anything out of it, so let's just get rid of those. Let's buy two of these giga eggs, right? Uh. I think the female Compsognathus has produced eggs, right? That we can use to eat. Let's do that. There we go. So we need to make... A stockpile for those Giga Eggs. Right. We're gonna trade one of our protos in for our for Giganotus two Giganotus Saurus eggs. A Giga egg for nine bucks. Yeah, that what a steal. I don't know why these dinosaurs are so cheap. You'd expect them to be more expensive, you know. I mean, to be fair, young dinosaurs are very weak. So 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 I mean we have to like it's it's only gonna cost us nine bucks. But we will have to take care of these these eggs for a, like a year, until they actually become of use. And they they these guys will also eat stuff, and we'll have to take care of them, make sure uh, that they don't get themselves killed. I mean, if you think about it that way, like sure it is cheaper, but it's much more of a time investment than actually finding like a T Rex. Like the T Rex right now, like those the Brachy and the T Rex, those are battle ready at the moment we tamed them. But these guys, they're going to take a year until they actually become useful, so. Oh, shit! Fire! No, our cotton plants. And cargo pods? What do we find? A Netch Leather Authority Cap. Hey, Authority Cap! I don't know what that is, but it sounds cool, so we're gonna get it. Plus, I don't think Guerra has any headwear, so... Hey, I'll take anything. go out on a raid. There is a raid here. What is this? Item stash. What does that do? The Marine helmet. There's a crazy ass helmet here. Uh, There's a crazy helmet that we got last time. 
There's some fertilized eggs up there. There's silver down here. Th that, there's a lot of good opportunities that we might be able to use. But it's becoming fall and we need to prepare for winter. Like, we may... The one thing that we have to make sure with RimWorld is that we never should overextend, overextend our plays. Don't want to overextend our plays. Rescued animal join? Wait, what rescued animal? Huh? You mean the... You mean the Bronto? I already have it. Huh? Uh, the rescued animal is joining the colony. Yeah, it's it, we already tamed it. What the hell are you talking about, game? <laughs> Damn, talk about being late to the party. So pants... The tribal wear. So tribal wear also counts as pants, right? Yeah, we all have pants, right? Okay, you need a shirt. What if the what, wait? What if the rescued animal's name is just a space bar? No, 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 no. That doesn't work. It's it always gets a name, and I don't think we've seen a message pop up because every time a rescue uh, an animal falls from the sky, we do get an alert. We haven't got an alert, and we look. I, I also looked at the tamed animal tab. We don't see anything new. There's also that. We got some pants. Right, so you also said you need... Make two shirts. And Nippono is just cleaning the place. We don't need a cleaner right now. On Nippono... Right, just research, help research as well, if you're just gonna go run and clean, sweep up some dust. We have so many dinosaurs in our colony, we are eventually gonna run into some dirt. Wild Holos Abuse. Ooh. Let's see, we have two uh, beetles. Okay. Look at she, she's like playing hoopstones from the other side of the wall. I don't know how that works. <laughs> Yeah, my favorite pastime is just staring at a wall. You know, we should we should give the give these name. Uh, we should also give these snails a name. Colin. <laughs> this is a random call. A, a snail named Colin. Okay. Name name one Colin, right? Which which we we've got to give all of our animals some names, right? Uh, the Brachio, yeah, Brachiosaurus, that, that, I, I forgot, like, that's its name, yeah. <laughs> the bra it's a Brachydeos named Brachiosaurus. We need to rename the snail as well. Justin! <laughs> Justin the snail, okay. Bro, we have Justin the snail, and we also need a to give Compia a name. Vixen, Brigand, Betty, I'm just gonna name you Compi. Right. Good old Compi. Name you that. Ooh, a chromatic ankylosaur. They're both males. Okay. Doog Slayer of Gods. You know what? Hell yeah. We're gonna name this snail. Uh, instead of yeah, yeah. 
Instead of Colin, he's gonna need be named the Doog Slayer of God. <laughs> oh, it's, it, I can't spell out the entire name. The game doesn't let me. So he's just gonna be Doog Slayer of G. Right, what the G stands for? You'll just have to imagine. <laughs> right. Slayer of G. Why not? Uh, oh, wait. There's a dead T-Rex? Oh, the T-Rex is bleeding out. What happened to you? Oh, you were fighting against the Bekla Spinak. Well, they both died. <laughs> so much for that. Double damage. Or double death, whatever that was called from that shitty YouTube video. So what do we name our Protoceratops? Uh, Guardian. Because, you know, this this small animal will definitely guard our guard our clan from being invaded, right? <laughs> He's the guardian! Okay, I think this is the last day of fall, so then we're gonna be winter, so... Yeah, we should probably start harvesting all of that. Okay, research finished. Nutrient paste. Okay, so what else do we need right now? Uh, we need a uh, battery. Oh my, rainy thunderstorm. Oh, we have a T-Rex skull. That's cool. Can I wear it? Oh, I can wear it! I can wear the skull! <laughs> Look at her! Look at her guerra! She's wearing the T-Rex head! <laughs> oh, that's that's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Oh, there's an Anginath here. I want to tame an Anginath. I like Anginath. But again, uh, Winter, we are- we don't overextend, Lofo, please. At least start extending once you at least get some decent armor to war dinos. With armor. Oh, raid! The pigs! The pigs are raiding! Those swines! Okay, we have MG Vang. Riding on an Udanoceratops. Oli Monty on a Quantasaurus and Devon Krabby riding on a Tenosaurus. Okay. Right. Okay. Brachydeos. T Rex. Get behind here. They're gonna come this way. I think. They should be coming that way. No, they're still waiting? Okay. I mean, it is raining, so... It's gonna make bad for aims. Birthday? Oh, the Punosaurus got aging asthma? You're just 25 and you got asthma. Wow. There is an Anjanath cult that was mentioned. Why don't you raid them? Oh, oh, no, these are raiders. They aren't raid. I could raid them as well, but we are way too weak for that. If I want to raid a settlement, that's like end game stuff. Or at least mid late game. If you're decently armored. Right now, I, I like, we are busy defending here. We don't need, like, as I said, uh, we might die in the first winter, so we don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, the rain stopped. That's good for them. But if we do get to kill them, does that mean we do get some guns, right? So we, we have, we're gonna get a machine pistol. And a revolver. And another machine pistol. They're all poor though, so. Eh, whatever. Like, they are gonna walk through the door because it's the only, they, they know that this is the open gate. Oh, we have a Titsuyaku. Oh! It's the flashbang dino. 
I like those. Those are actually de quite decent in combat too in this game. Oh, here they come! I want to tame an Odonisartops. I like the I like the color scheme of this guy. Very colorful. Where are you headed? Oh, they're just standing. Merely attacking the wooden table. Right, wooden hoops don't ring. All right, they're 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 trying to get in there. Right. Are they coming? Yep, they're just going to pass by this door. Okay, here they come. Right. Yeah! <laughs> the door was open for a reason, buddy! Let's see how- are you good? You're a technophobe that is also neurotic. Wow, you are absolutely useless. Here comes Oli! Yeah. Yep, there he goes. Just hide behind these doors. The moment they come in, they'll just we we'll can just poke them. This guy's just attack this random ass table in the middle of nowhere. All right. <laughs> oh, he lost his head. Brachiosaur struck Ollie in the torso. Soup gnawed Ollie in his neck. Oh wow. <laughs> that that's a that's an awful way to go. Right. What about Vang? Right, you're the oh you're the only one! Oh he Oh they're just fighting a random snake. Oh wow, okay. Does the Udonoceratops not fight? For some reason, I, yeah, the Udano doesn't fight. Well, off he goes. <laughs> Looks like the snake took down the other guy for me. We got a bit of silver, and we have a revolver now. And you guys are all gonna get buried right here. Can change my style. Ooh, okay. Can dye my hair. Can dye myself in green hair. Oh, I don't have dye. Okay. Well, that's a shame. Yeah, let's change your hair. Let's change you like this. Oh shit, wait, why why is the snake in here? Oh god. Oh yeah, I forgot the snake became a manhunter, I forgot. I, I thought that snake would have died, but no. Oh no! Come on! Sue! Fight it! There we go. They're all gonna bleed out. Right. We need our medic. Who's the medic again? Koba, you're the medic, right. Yep, forgot about that. Well, that's more medicine that we're gonna be ending up using.
I'm just gonna tend you without medicine. Hopefully that's all right. Yeah, just patch him up like that. Good enough. If he gets infected and dies, well then too bad. He is just one of our slaves, so. Eh. Who's a good brontosaurus? Yes, you are. Oh, we have this giant snake now in our base. There's that, I guess. Okay, crop sprout. A large field of hop plant. Ooh, right here? Okay, that's interesting. What are these plants? Essential ingredient in beer. Right, we might make some beer brewing soon, I guess. Okay, winter has begun. And we start off things off with a forest fire. We better start looking for more medicine. Any medicine? There's some. Me there's some medicine. When all the medicine we can get. Now that we can get electricity. Oh, we need components. Okay, where do I find components? Is there any components that we saw? Oh, there they are. There's some. There's some here as well, and over here as well. There's loads of components in the in the sediment. For some reason in Rimworld, yeah, you find components in in, in walls like fossils. I don't know how that makes any sense, but yeah, that's just how it works. Who's the miner? The Pono, yeah, you should also get be mining. Right, bury all the corpses. Ooh, another zoological trader. Oh, they have a Spinosaurus. I don't think it's up for sale though. Ooh, Inostransivia. We got the two components. Right. You can make one wind turbine. Spiny boy. Indeed it is. It's, it is indeed a spiny boy. Ooh, in a in a strand series of are going on a rampage. And there it goes. They also, it also killed a chromatic beetle. Yep. 
Oh no, it was it fought the Titanoboa. It fought that guy. There's a dead Velociraptor, a Titanoboa. There's practically a dead Pulmon of Scorpius and a dead Ankylosaur. There's so much death going on. <laughs> it's like these animals don't know when to stop fighting. Oh, the egg's hatched! We got a Giga! We have a baby Giga! We have two baby Gigas! Right. You shall be named the Joker. And because according to Colin Trevor, it's supposed to be a Joker, right? <laughs> okay, so we have Joker. And you shall be named, um, Batman. I don't know. It's it's the only thing I had in mind. <laughs> the opposite of Batman, probably the Joker, right? So one's gonna be named Batman, the other one's gonna be named Joker. Honestly, we might try to sell one if they accept one, because I was actually the reason I bought two eggs was just in case one didn't hatch. Mr. Giggles, right? You know what? Yeah, Mr. Giggles, right? I'll name you Mr. Giggles. Yeah, you're you're the male one, right? Right, Mr. Giggles, the Giganotosaurus. I will start training you as well. Whoever, let's train with these guys. Ooh, they sell a Staracosaurus. Uh, the Plodocus? Uh, they, they sell the Spino. They sell it too. But yeah, we cannot afford it. I don't, I don't, I don't think we can afford it even if we sell our entire clan. And everything, if, even if I sell everything that I have, I don't think we can buy the Spino. <laughs> not that I want, not that I'm gonna do that. And we don't need the whale skin. Like, these bits and scraps of hide that we don't need. Like, we can't make anything out of 15. So we might as well turn them into silver. Oh, wait, there's UT eggs. Oh, there's a UT egg. You know what? Let's buy two UT eggs. What the hell? Why the hell? Why the hell am I getting so many good dinosaur eggs? Oh, they're freezing. Okay. All right. Let's get those UT eggs. Hold them before they freeze. No, 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 why are you putting them in here? Here. Critical, right. But you know what? I'll just manually drop him. It's going to take 10 days for this thing to hatch. Also, make, start making a campfire here. Just to heat things up.
Which I'm surprised how, why we still aren't finished with the research. Like, where is the only one doing research? What, what, what is Nippono doing? You build, oh, you're building the wind turbine. You know what? That, that, that doesn't make any, that, that does make sense. We do need that. We have a 152 year old author plura. What? How the hell did this thing live this far? It's an insect with dementia. I have never heard of an insect with dementia. Can insects even get Im uh, dementia? I mean, like, yeah, I, I mean, this, technically speaking, also plurals aren't insects, right? They're arthropods, but... Can I didn't even know arthropods could get dementia. Right, that should heat up the air. Ooh, Titiaku revenge! No! Oh, see, this is a, it, it, it did a flashbang. Titsyaku is a pretty... It, it's got a really good uh, move. I would actually argue that this thing is better than the Anjanath. Because in Anjanath, uh, it forces you to use the fire breath. So Anjanath is kind of in a weird situation where you don't want this guy to be used for an attacks nor defense. Like, Andronath is actually one of the worst dinosaurs in this game right now. Because, uh, the Andronath can, like, like, there is no way to trigger, like, choose whether to spit fire or do the bite. Like, I have to manually select the bite. Like, why didn't they make it so that they manually spit fire instead of having to manually do the bite? Because every person would try to use the bite instead of the fire, because... There's no point in, in the engine using the fire when there's a bunch of dinosaurs in front of it that is also on your team. It's not like the fire doesn't do friendly fire, so it, it's a lose-lose situation. I don't know why, why they, they, they'd be doing that. Yeah, that's why the Tsiaku isn't actually that bad, because yeah, sure, it does stun every dinosaur in the vicinity, including yours, but then you, other dinosaurs that aren't near the enemy can go ahead and stop poking it, so still useful in that sense. Oh, blocked by birch tree. Hello, good morning, Oots. Welcome back. Do this. We're back in Rimworld, and yeah, as you can see, we are actually doing a lot of good, amazing progress. Mainly because, just because out of luck. We're, we're getting really lucky here. We've been getting a lot of crazy dinosaurs. We've got two Giga Eggs that we hatched, and we have two UT Eggs being hatched as well. We all got those from traders, so that's that's really amazing. I didn't even expect them to be that, expect them to get those that easily, but... A wild Sarkosuchus. What is that? Myasaur and uh, Campusaurus. Okay. Do you know the gag 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 sound of Dodd from uh? Though from Ark comes from a species of vulture. Oh, that sound! I didn't know if it was from a vulture. I knew it was a. I'm pretty. I was pretty sure that that was an actual sound of a bird, but I didn't even know what bird it was. It was from a vulture. That's interesting. You have the good version of the Peter Jackson King Kong game. There is a bad version, a good version of the Peter uh, of the King Kong game. You mean like the you mean the the game that I played on Steam <laughs> is the bad one or one or is there a good version bad versions of the exact same old game? Mr. Giggles. Right. So what what nature does Mr. Giggles have? Intense would be good. He's calm. Okay. He's known to be the Marauder. 
Or because uh, calm animals, like, so... It's, it's kind of like a Ark or, like, Stone Age Begins. I don't know if anyone played this game, but... If you tame a dinosaur in Stone Age Begins, there's a chance for it to be, like, calm, intense, or something like that. And it gets buffs depending on what type of pet it is. So right now, we don't know uh, what kind of uh, condition this guy is. The turtle is energetic, which means it will move slightly faster. Which is probably the worst stat we could probably get on a turtle. Because, yeah, it's going to move slightly faster, but it's a still a turtle, so it moves incredibly slow. <laughs> An energetic Gallimimus would be great, though. Yep, see, this is what I need. Uh, slightly faster on a ready fast creature is really good. Dallo, you are also slightly faster. I mean, the Dallo is just for display, so I don't think we're going to be used for anything. Uh, the Brontosaurus is kind, which means it will nuzzle a colonist more often. If you nuzzle a, uh, nuzzle a colonist, they will actually get a little bit of a buff, I think. I don't think it has nuzzled any anyone yet. The Brachio, this guy has intense, so it will deal more damage, which is the per which is the best for attackers like Brachio. Kind the of T Rex, I mean kind you can't go you can't go wrong with kind. That's the thing. If you have a bunch of animals like hundreds of dinosaurs, like even if uh, like there's like a one percent chance of nuzzling someone, like you can pretty much guarantee that every person will get a move buff. Good and bad version of the old game. The signature editing is the better version. There's a lot of bugs. Rendering issues and loading screens take too long. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, so... Why do I actually have this giant growing field of potatoes? Now that I think about it, this I must have done this on accident, right? Is there a reason I have so many giant potatoes? Like a huge field of potatoes. Is there a reason for that? I don't I don't think so. I don't think there's a reason why I did that. This is completely unnecessary, I'd say. Let's get rid of that. We don't need that. Uh, let's see. How many blocks do we have? We have loads of granite. So let's, let's make a granite wall. No, I kind of want this area to be where, where everyone lives. So this is going to be a bit of a farm area up here. I think we're going to spread out the farm throughout our, our little caldera. So down here we might have a giant like event hall or something. Ideology kind of stuff. Which means there's only one place we can put food over there. Right. We'll put food. We'll have a food storage in here. We'll do that. Okay, so we need one grinder. We need... How do I make this? Okay, we need... A... No vent. Oh, wait. There's no coolers? Oh, because oh, because it's tribal start. Oh, I see. Can't get coolers until you get tribal. What do I need? Air conditioning. I need to research air conditioning. Oh my god. I mean, it is winter right now, so uh, I mean, we'll probably research that before spring, right? Right now, in winter, it doesn't really matter, does it? So, where do we get hoppers? There it is. We also need some vats. This is where all the food gets stored. 
Two store just for now is good enough. Do it that way. So that's gonna be our primitive food storage. So how much resources do we have? 400 metal. Okay, that's actually a decent amount. So let's get... Let's get paved tiles. In here. In spite of surgery. Okay, I mean... That's pretty useless. At least right now. She would like to perform a surgery. Like, if anyone needed surgeries. Cut this down. There we go. I didn't know these Kuluyakus ate plants. That is very interesting. They they eat vegetable seeds. Yeah, they also eat vegetables. Okay. I thought this guy would be like a carnival. I, I know definitely that these guys will uh, eat eggs. The one thing that I don't want to have. If this guy starts starving, it might start eating these eggs. So, yeah. we've got to make sure that they none of these animals starve. So pipe networks. We need nutrient paste feeder. This is probably the best. Uh, this is probably the single best thing that this the nutrient paste mod has, because if I have this in our base, we do not need to feed our dinosaurs. We'll automatically feed every single one of them, and that is, that is like a godsend. So. Joker. Is Joker intense? What, what element is Joker? He is energetic. Okay. That means it is uh, faster. I mean, yeah, why not? A faster Giga. For attacking dinosaurs, like, you don't want it to be have... To have, uh... Like, make it carry better, I think. I think that's calm, right? Calm is probably the worst when it comes to battling dinosaurs. Like, there's only a couple cases that I can think where energetic is bad. Maybe on a snail. Or anything that is, like, slow. Like, for snails, like, it doesn't actually matter, I'd say, honestly. Because as long as the snails just exist, we can get advantage of it. Ooh, Velociraptor something boil. Right, shooter! Shooter! Oh god, it's. Oh come on, man! You can you can you not shoot this thing? Right. Come on! <laughs> How many bullets does it kill? It's, it's literally a baby Velociraptor. It, it's it's an eight-day-old Velociraptor. How how the hell does it has it not died yet? There we go.
So let's get... Air conditioning. We also just got an, a wild Indominus Rex that just spawned. Which is crazy. Oh, see, there we go. It nuzzled it. So now it gets a little bit of a... Uh, nuzzled. It gets a little buff. Shaman Merchant, another Shaman Merchant. Let's see what we got. Any medicine? We have a psychic animal pulsar, which is pretty much a get out of jail free card. And a boomasaurus! Okay, that is uh, a milkable brachiosaurus. I mean, no, I, I think it's an apatosaurus. We can sell those compy eggs. That's great. What is this grief? Enhanced manipulation while draining movement speed. It's alcohol. Jama is also... It's just kind of the same thing, right? Just more alcohol. Do we need alcohol right now? Maybe. I mean, getting in a Boomasaurus is probably the best right now. We do need some chem fuel. Psychic Sooth, maybe? Well, let's sell those for now. Let's sell those compi, compi eggs. Compi eggs are good for last ditch food source, but we have enough food, so. And I think we're early and still early enough in the game that it's not going to be that hard. Yeah, I do find this quite silly because for some reason the game auto puts polymer into the feeding area because but you can't actually eat this. Because, because the game is programmed so that every time you get something like this, like, uh, animal, something from an animal, in the base game, I think everything that you get from an animal is something that you can, that is edible. So, yeah, polymer that you get from snails is automatically registered as something that is edible. <laughs> Although it is not. Pretty silly. No, 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 Nippono, you, you gotta... You gotta mine this out fast, first, then you work on that. You gotta finish the floor first. Okay, so training. You are ready. Okay. So now, if I go ahead and create a zone, a rally point, I'll put it up there. So now, we all the dinosaurs that we can use to for battle get a little bit of an icon up there. So, let's keep it at red. Right. Red dinosaur icons means that like, it's something that I can set to just a group dinosaurs in a group. So, red are going to be for the one for the dinosaurs that are going to be the main attackers of our base. Essentially.
Seems like we can do something called Jurassic Jazz. Oh, okay. Okay, let's do some bit of Jurassic Jazz. <laughs> yeah, we can dance in front of a campfire. Shivering so much that it was impossible to get a good sleep. I mean, that makes sense because right now we are in the winter, right? No, that's why it actually, it's actually useful if you listen to the, what these people say. But let's get a campfire in here, in here. Right. All right, we got a bit of fun. So we get plus five mood. And with the advice that I got from those colonists, we're going to build campfires in our bases. Little huts. Get more of this. So it is actually April Fool's here in South Korea, but honestly, I just decided to stream because regular RimWorld because I didn't know what to do. I know I shouldn't be doing this, but I honestly don't really know what was what I was gonna stream today. <laughs> I don't think there has been any significant updates to any games that I play. Uh, like Primal Carnage actually did have their Easter update. Which that means that I think they updated something about uh their like because I know they're in Con Primal Carnage. There is an another game mode called Capture the Egg that I have never played in my entire life. No one has ever played the game. I don't know why, but they never played the game. So, and the new update in Primal Carnage changed something about Capture the Egg. Well, I would know like it, it's a shame because I don't know anything about the game mode because no one plays the damn game mode even after the update so quite a bit of a shame I don't know why they don't play maybe it's unbalanced or something we need more steel doesn't seem like we have any wood either So we got the UT eggs. But what are you doing? Okay, you're just relaxing. Okay, quest active. Breaking Barzo Menace out. Okay, so you have uh, aid in construction. You're a bit greedy. Social. Seven implants. There's a... There's two tries people. For eight construction guy. You know what? Six in social too. But wait, he's also greedy. But so is Guerra. So No, greedy and jealous are different things, right? Barzo Menace is greedy. You are also greedy. Okay, so you just need a really impressive bedroom, right? Yeah, you just need anything that is labeled with impressive. Okay. So we need to do that. We do have two dinosaurs at our deposit. Where, where are you located, buddy? All the way up here? Four days.
You, you, and you. You know what? Let's... No, uh, yeah, let's try doing this. Let's try breaking that guy out. We do need a good builder. No, Nippono is already a good builder, but again... We might need uh, Nippono for something else, so... More hands? Always good. Let's go try to rescue that guy. Okay, let's go. Let's go rescue this one person. So it's going to take about 1.2 days. Okay, the Trinka can actually fight. Okay, that's good. So if if anything else comes up, uh, raise our base, we can use Trinket. Get some batteries. Tetsuyaku leather. Is it? Is this? Is this Tetsuyaku leather good? Good against heat. A slight bit of insulation. It's got a decent number of sharpness. Wait, can I make a carpet? I think I should be able to make a rug, right? Titsiaku rug. Yeah, we can make a rug. Let's make a Titsiaku rug in, uh... Wuaris room. That will buff the room, right? Party of evolution, okay. You need a gathering spot like a table to make a celebration, right? I don't think we need one right now. Like, we use celebration if people are on low mood, but... And there we go, we ha now we have a Titsuyaku rug. Pretty cool, and now our b bedroom became somewhat impressive, instead of slightly impressive. So, hell yeah! Who's gonna chop down some trees for us? Toba, but Toba's also be the cook, so... I think Toba's too busy cooking. Okay, there we go. We have built our, our little nutrient paste grinder. So that's gonna grind up all the food that we have and turn them into paste, which can be also depends dispensed here. This means this nutrient paste meal. It says it's vegetarian, but every single dinosaur can eat this because you know it like it's already much slush. So Gigas, Rexes, Trikes, they all eat this. It seems pretty rare for monsters to spawn. No, it's just like, like, they're just dinosaurs. I don't know why you call them monsters. I guess it's because it's from a game called Monsanto, but they're essentially just dinosaurs. They are just fantasy dinosaurs, essentially, so. <laughs> and, like, it's not like these are, they are any better than regular dinosaurs. Like, the Brachydeos that we have is just about as strong as, like, a regular Allosaurus or something. So it is fairly balanced. It's not like they're practically overpowered compared to others.
So that also probably means we don't actually need to make simple meals anymore. Everyone can start eating nutrient slush. Okay, they're mostly dragons. I mean, dragons, like, elder dragons aren't dinosaurs, but wyverns are. Because if I remember correctly, the wyverns are descendants from a different clade of animals that have the share same, the same common ancestor with sauropods and theropods. Right, so we are at the prisoner camp. Okay, so what we need to do is... Okay. Rally point. Okay. Get those markers in. And you. What is this? We got some goose eggs unfertilized. Right. Let's mark these guys to be killed and... Look at them go! <gasps> right. Barzo menace, we're coming! And just like that, very simple. We didn't even need the guy. <laughs> we have, we do, for, in our game, we have the dinosaurs do our bidding. Ooh, what do we have here? Dilophosaurus skulls? Alright, looks like we got some trophies. Just need to break this out. Right, Barzo Menace, we are here to, to break you out. More like my dinosaurs, not me, but still. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Wh why are you attacking this random ass Dilo? Yeah, there we go. I don't know why you were attacking that random Dilo, but here we go. Okay, so I do. Now that we got the bandit camp, does that mean that we get the Barzo Menace guy? No, actually. And rescue him. Do I have to, like, manually go ahead and rescue? Oh, there we go. I have to, I have to manually free him uh, to be a prisoner. Okay. I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, I, I we busted down the enemy's base. We destroyed everything. And yet he's still a prisoner. We just have to go and give him a little high five. There we go. <laughs> yep. Uh, busting down the gates. Uh, killing all the people. Nope, that did not break him out. If I high five him, yep, now he's freed. <laughs> well, we have Barzo Menace, which we will probably change the name because I cannot spell you. So I shall name you... Uh... Bactro. Right. Because I'm going to name every single colonist after a random dinosaur. That is what we do, how to, how we do things around here. Right. Uh, put you there. There. Right, so what else do we need? Uh, short bow. We got, let's get those Dalo skulls. Let's get those steel urns. Rose quartz table. It says awful. Rose quartz bed. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Let me grab that. Uh, wooden dining chair. That is good. Eh, why not? It's six good chairs. Can't say no to that. <laughs> we're here. We're here to break that guy out. But what actually ended up happening is just we steal all of their furniture. <laughs> right. The true friends were the furniture that we met on the way. Or something like that. I don't know. We got some goose eggs. Let's get the bed roll as well. Alright, let's go back. So, Bactro, he, he is not a slave, is it? He's just a colonist. Yeah, he is just a colonist. Okay. So, we need, we gotta give him another...
A new home. make that wait can i get a granite i can make a granite end table and a dresser we do have a rose quartz bed that we stole from them so we're probably gonna install that right now my biggest issue is gonna be wood yeah in fact i don't think we even have to like make pemmican there we have enough enough emergency ration we have enough food so we just need yeah, we just need to fill up more of this. Ornithosuchus Revenge. I hear gunshot. Oh, there's a random guy. Oh. Why do you have a question? You're a traitor? Well... He's being attacked by this Onithosuchus. Wait, does he drop his items? Oh, he does! Oh my! Hey, this, that Onithosuchus just gave us a free... <laughs> gave us free medicine. He gave us an as heavy assault rifle. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh my god. That, that is amazing. He's still a manhunter though, he's just gonna bleed out, okay. I love how the Pachyrinosaurus just does not give a crap. <laughs> I'm being attacked, help! Nah, I'm just gonna do my own stuff. You do you, buddy. <laughs> well, unfortunately for Maker Buddy here, he is not gonna make it. Oh, whoa, never mind! That's even, good. That's even better! No, I can take everything! We didn't even have to wait for the Onithosuchus to get kill himself. Oh, Zoya, you might have died, but you should your death shall not be in vain. But well, we got medicine, we got money, we got amazing guns. Components? Hell yeah. Ratoba, I think you should focus more on plant cutting than actually cooking because we have enough food right now, buddy. We need to get those trees. We need more wood. Wood is the we need what we need. Why are you? What is your issue? Oh, you have asthma, right? Oh, well, I mean, we did use our medicine, I suppose. We have four wild card card on the sources. Yeah, wow. It seems like we, we might as well just get every single, like, one of the bigger dinosaurs right away. <laughs> I'm surprised how it took, lo took us so little time to find, like, the majority of all the big dinos. So we found T-Rex, we found Spino, Gigas, UTs, like we've pretty much found like all the big hitters in the world. And it's only been like what, like 46 days since we arrived. Yep, Toba, grab some wood. That's our main concern. Eclipse. Why not? Beautiful eclipse. Right, 300 wood. Okay. 
Okay, let's get some paved tiles here. Okay, so it is almost a year, so what I actually kind of want to do is, in this game, you can actually make make uh, large steals, which you can use to memorize individuals, battles, and other important events. I think it would be really cool if we had, we made a steal for every year that we survived in this world. I mean, for, so essentially, every time winter ends, we're going to make one granite large steal. So for every year, technically, we're going to have one steal. I think that's going to be pretty cool. We're currently downloading Ark Survival Evolved. Not Ark Survival Ascended. I know Ark Survival Ascended is going to release a Scorched Earth soon. They uh, Apparently, I'm pretty sure it's going to get delayed, actually. <laughs> like, everyone says, oh yeah, Scorched Earth is coming now. No, I, I, it's not. I know that. That's why I'm not playing the game just yet. Because I know it's gonna get delayed, so. Not even gonna bother. There we go, Caravan is here! With Bactro, our new guy. Goyle is just walking, right? <laughs> uh, my laptop can't handle a survival ascent. Yeah, to be fair, yeah, you do have a point. Back row, you got to equip the heavy SMG. Why not? Let's see, how many dinosaurs have we found so far? We found a uh, 2% of all the dinosaurs. Wow, okay. 46 days in, we found 2%. That's, that's, I mean, to be fair, we were just starting out, so, yeah. Like, taming dinosaurs is more of a luxury than anything, because... If we tame too much dinosaurs, even if we can, we won't be, they're all gonna start uh, dying of starvation, so... Now, where is all the stuff that we got? Okay, we got the air conditioning now. So, now what we need to do is we need to get our riding gear and animal clothing. But it's time for our T-Rexes and Brachiosauruses to get some decent gear. Right. Wooden dining chair. Let's put those away. We don't need the animal sleeping spot in here. I hope, I'm, oh, I hope I'll get to like it since I haven't played any survival crafting games before. Honestly, like, Ark is probably one of the, the the most fun games out there. You will definitely like it. Just make sure to play offline. Because online Ark can be pretty de devastating. Because the game is designed in a way so that you have to keep playing constantly. Like, that, it's something that I didn't really notice while I was playing the game in single player. But once I played Monarchy... Uh, last 
last season, I think I was a member of the Monarchies. Like, it was fun, but I just realized how, like, how the game was designed to just drain all your time. <laughs> I didn't notice that while I was playing single player, because, yeah, if I didn't want to play Ark, I just, just could take a break. But with, like, online game? No, you cannot take a break. Oh, look at them. Look at them wearing the Dalo skull. That's pretty cool. Okay, nesting site expired. Doesn't really matter. Oh, wait, what the hell? A car carried on the source is hunting? Not, not anymore. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just, just make sure to not allow this door. Okay, the car cars out there are hungry. I mean, it is winter, so a lot of the herbivores are not here. Most of them are carnivores. Oh, really, actually. There's a lot of herbivores here. It's just that these guys just don't care. No! Why? Get back in there. Oh, they're all attacking! Right, you know what? Right. You want to hunt our poor Kuliaku? Right. Time to get Uno reversed. Right, let's go, T-Rex! Tomu's boss! Oh, other car code on the source has become enraged. How many are there? There's two of them, okay. okay there we go. Oh, where's this guy going? Oh, he's just moving, okay. He, he's not gonna help the other buddy. He's just gonna walk away. <laughs> he just doesn't care. Yep. But unfortunately for you... We aren't done here yet. Isu is bleeding out. Okay. There we go. Gotta make sure to heal soon now. Okay, just stand here. Well, we have one medicine, let's see if we can stop the bleeding. We're bitten off? What the hell do you lose? Oh, you lost your tail! The car card dinosaurs bit off Sue's tail. I mean, you can repair the body part, right? It takes it takes a lot of good medicine to do that, so. Yeah, I guess Sue will have to live on without a tail for a while. Unfortunately. Okay, well, we have a T-Rex without a tail. New area has been revealed. Oh my, what the hell? I didn't know there was a huge opening here. Okay, that, that is pretty cool. There's more, no, more places we can use. We might use this as a, as a little prison or something.
Okay, let's put a cooler here. Two coolers are usually what we need. And back throws. You also need something, right? The diverse thought, that's cool. He doesn't like that we have a slave, but honestly, it's just minus one, right? It's not a big deal. We, we did actually get the basalt table, so let's actually get a basalt table in here. Some dining chairs that we stole from the base. I mean, they're good dining chairs, okay? <laughs> they might have been from the raiders, but still. A good chair is a good chair. Chair is a chair. We're using it. And we also have a quartz bed. Which we are gonna use as well. Okay, so I think... We, now that we have electricity, can we get... Uh, yes, we can get standing lamps. So they're just brighter lamps. Do we need lamps in here? I mean, it's pretty dark, so why not? Okay, wh wait, hold up. Now that I think about it, why do we have still have a guy named Matthias? That's not a dinosaur name. Right. You shall be named... Majunga. There we go. Okay, there we go. Let's keep this cool. Now, what we're gonna do now is that we will actually put a stockpile zone inside our freezer. And this zone is gonna be used for corpses. So, anything animal corpses, we're gonna take all those. And raw food. We're gonna put everything in there. So that way, we can store all our corpses in the freezer. So we can... That way, we don't have to slot, butcher every single one of them. We can just keep them inside. We don't necessarily have to use, uh, I have to butcher them right away. Now I don't have to be running on the clock trying to butcher them before they spoil. Let's get some more wood. I want to make a snail farm. Put something like this. Bro, we are gonna have a snail farm. Alright, we're gonna name this zone. 
I mean, it's not just for snails. I'm think I'm gonna have a turtle in there as well. For now, we're gonna use this area that is right next to this the zone. Because yes, one thing that I realized is that we you need to store animals. In the zone where you want them. Things will get out of hand very quickly if you don't sort these these things out soon. Why is it lagging? Right. Lag lagging is scary, okay? The game starts lagging. That that means that there's it spawns something. I don't know what though. Okay, look at all the meat that we have. Right, we have riding gear. Research that. Let's get clothing. You also want an impressive bedroom, right? Okay, so I guess we're gonna give you a furniture. Lamp. You don't want tables in here. Do we have any dino hide that we can use? That I got. And we have 15 Tsiaku leather, that's all. A rustic rug? Yeah, we could have that. Is this impressive? The bedroom is still off. Right. Let's see, do we have a bed? Let's make it make a little animal bed right next to it. Ratty apparel. What do you need? You need a better hat. Okay. I will make you a hat. What is a flop hat? Oh, okay. Make a flop hat. Why not? Sounds funny. <laughs> it's, it's a hat that flops, okay? You can't say no to a hat that flops. What are our UT- OH NO! The UTX died! No! It got ruined by temperature! I knew something like that would happen! Ah! Uh. Well that sucks! We lost our UT eggs. I was wondering why they didn't hatch! I was like, I'm pretty sure they would have hatched by now! Well! That's rumroll for you!
Should have made sure to put a heater in there first before prioritizing the nutrient paste grinders and spit. Gonna try to get a heater in this room. Aguera, let's get the auto pistol. I think these things are better than the bow, right? We still have another table. More chairs, thank you. The animal needs treatment. Why? Oh, because you have asthma, right? What happens if I don't tend asthma? Does it die? I mean, I'm assuming yes. Okay, let's fill up all of our nutrient vats with uh, meat. Right, the more the more food that we have in our vats, the better. I think next spring we can stop properly focusing on taming dinos once we build out all these pipes. Relic of fossilizers. Your Tricera Lance is an ancient object venerated by all fossilizers. If you could collect it, you could build a great whirling quarry to make fossilizers happy. Attract wealthy pilgrims and bring more people to fossilizer. First, you need to find a Tricera Lance. Let's do that. Let's see if we can get the legendary Tricera Lance. Oh, a manhunter pack of lysinups. Oh my god, that's a lot of them. Right, emergency shutdown, folks. Emergency shutdown. Right, close the gates. Everyone inside, right? Yep. And now it it's no one's problem anymore. Yeah, there's seven lysinups. Okay, I'm not gonna risk that. Because we have we only have like four medicine, okay? Plus, having a more Manhunter dinosaurs or, or creatures in our base means... Technically, it also doubles as a right defense. <laughs> oh, wh why is this T-Rex drinking, drinking the alcohol? What? What? <laughs> the T-Rex just drank my Sajama. Why would you do that? You, you eat this. I literally made your nutrient feeder, you... It just jumped, walked into the storage and, and is drinking all the alcohol. <laughs> no, don't do that, T-Rex. Bad dinosaur. The last thing we need is a drunken Tyrannosaurus in our base. Right. No, stop drinking this. Eat. Can you not eat liquor? Like, can, can you not eat, uh... No, stop. Why Why is he... Is he a drink... Is this T-Rex an alcohol addict? No. But why are you trying to eat? There, there's, there's food right here. <laughs> it's like a picky eater. Can you not eat- wait, hold up. Can you not eat, uh, 
No, you can't eat processed food. So what's your problem? <laughs> I have no idea what this guy's problem was. He keeps trying to drink the alcohol! <laughs> Stop! Right. Okay, you know what? There you go. Right, uh, no more Sujama drinking for you. Jeez, the last thing I expected in this game is having a drug-addicted T-Rex. Literally said no. Why is it still eating it? I told you, stop! <laughs> right, you know what, Nippono? Uh, confiscate the Sujama. Oh, I can't, I can't pick it up? This thing is getting- this game- the, uh, This thing is gonna tr keep trying to drink this! Uh, back throw! You know, you, your ideology forbids that? You know what? Screw that, right? If you're gonna drink it, might as well I'm- we are gonna drink it! <laughs> screw that, T-Rex! Alright, screw you, Sue! Right, I know you- I appreciate you for what- for being in the base, but- I do not want a drunk T-Rex! Yeah, you, you- you go drink this! Uh, you you drink this. Yeah. There we go. What you gonna do now? Huh? No more alcohol. Oh, there's another there's more alcohol? Oh, there's more alcohol here as well. You know what? Okay, drink it then, you stupid. <laughs> drink this stupid alcohol that I have in the store. Drink all of it! Oh my god, this thing this thing this guy's actually going for it. Holy shit. Are we gonna have a drunk T-Rex? Oh he he's he's going for it. He's he's legging it. Maybe one pemmican? Nope. <laughs> you alright, buddy? Alcohol. Okay. It makes people happy. Does that apply to dinosaurs? <laughs> it's, it, it has alcohol tolerance. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Like, and the most ridiculous thing is that there's nutrient paste food right here. See, this is why we, we need to make different pens for dinosaurs. Elsewise, these dinosaurs are going to keep drinking up everything. Oh, well, the T-Rex can also eat pemmican, so there's that. Wait, can can this guy not eat? Wait, can you not eat meal? No, you can. So why are you not eating this? Why are you eating alcohol and pemmican, all those expensive food, instead of eating regular goop like everyone else? Still awful. Even with the lights, why is it awful? Uh, could you try cleaning this? Is that what you need? No, he's, he's he just can't clean it. Oh wait, maybe it's not. Oh yeah, it's not. It's not a home area. Yeah, that's why. I forgot. I forgot I had to do this manually. There we go. Now you'll be able to clean it. The house. Same goes with this area. I didn't register this as my home. Right, this is home. A 
Vectro. Yes, there we go. Now you can clean it. Bro, I need to see how the, the stats of a fully cleaned room. If it's impressive or not. It's decent. It's not it's not impressive enough. Uh what else do I have? I gave you everything. You have an excellent dresser. I guess it's because you don't have these floorboards, right? If that's what you're missing. They're satisfied. Right. I don't know how that's going to affect it, but if you put things underneath the carpet, it still affects the room. <laughs> Is there a, a particular reason why you don't st stream on Twitch? I used to stream on Twitch. Twitch shut down in South Korea. That's why. <laughs> oh. Okay, we finished uh, training the Brontosaurus. Let's put you to... Uh, let's put you to Pink Group. Large pet animals I can fight will be labeled as pink. They're mostly just assault creatures. Oh, we need to give them power too. I forgot you needed power to run these thingamajigs. Right. I know that room rule in the next update they're gonna add in uh cables that are hidden. That's, that's gonna be so much nicer because I hate seeing all these like uh, condols all around the place. It's so ugly. Yeah, they did. Yeah, that's why Commodore. I, I am Korean. That's why. <laughs> Unfortunately. Let's see, is this room impressive now? It's decent. Still decent. Yeah, what is the stat that we need for impressive? 70 is somewhat impressive. What the hell? You need way more? I need I need to give the I need I need to give 30 plus more on beauty? How the hell do I get 30 plus more? Maybe it's because of those wooden totemic slab. But aren't rugs the same thing as carpets? It seems like every slab that we make, we get two extra plus two. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. So that's 26. You know, that actually might make it somewhat impressive once we're done with it, actually. The stats. Animal clothing, we're done. We need armor now. Right, so now we need to get smithing. Fourteenth of December. That is the last day. So let's actually go ahead and let's make our limestone steel. Right, you know what? Let's let's put it right next to me, <laughs> la, 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 right next to my grave. Why not? The first year of surviving in this dinosaur room world.
Ooh, Cambrian Christmas. We need a Christmas tree for that, which we don't have, unfortunately. Do we get any rewards for doing that, or is it just is it just buff? What do we get for? You get goodwill. Okay. Well, how do I make a Christmas tree? Yeah, you know what? Let's make a Christmas tree. Why not? Christmas time! Instead of naming it Cambrian Christmas, I should have just named it Rexmas. <laughs> hey, but Cambrian Christmas, you, you, you're gonna give a bit of stuff. You're gonna give kudos to the Cambrian folk there. Oh, look at this! It's so cute! It's a cute little tree, right? Do we get any beauty buffs? We do get beauty buffs. That's nice. Okay, Cambrian Christmas. Let's go. Christmas! The heat is making me difficult to fall asleep. Wow. Okay, so now it's too hot, I guess. Oh, it's a boring Christmas. Okay. <laughs> and they ate the entire tree too. Kind of ironic how in RimWorld it seems like people actually clean up their, their Christmas trees even after Christmas. Back when I lived in Germany, when I was a kid, we used to have a Christmas tree. I don't think we use, we don't really do Christmas trees and things anymore in South Korea. At least my family. We used to do it back in when I was when we were kids. But yeah, we uh we had that Christmas tree and we just couldn't be bothered to get rid of it. So it was literally there until like the next summer. Okay, let's see if we can get... Okay, over here, we might try to get some dye. Let's farm a bit of dye here. I guess it's more like a psychological thing. You've you've worked so hard on a tree, so it, it kind of feels bad to get rid of it. <laughs> right, oh, combat supplier! All right, we're getting a lot of loads of stuff here. Look, look at this guy riding up on a Belzebub. That thing, that guy's almost as big as the frog. And I don't think the light synopsis are here anymore. They must mo must have moved on. Okay, Guerra. Let's trade. Let's see, I don't know what combat supplies do. 
Uh, they do sell some clubs. Some medicine. Oh, medicine might be useful. You know what? Let's buy some medicine. Medicine saves lives. We don't need this. Don't need this. We don't need this Alcyon knife. You know, let's sell these Uteranus eggs. You know, here's the funny thing, guys. Uh, dinosaur eggs are sold for the exact same price, regardless of, of whether they're fertilized or not. So, an unfertilized Uteranus egg costs as much as a fertilized Uteranus egg. I don't know why that is the case, but no, that's just this thing in RimWorld. <laughs> so, yeah, might as well just sell these eggs since, yeah, they, they don't hatch. And no one's gonna say anything. A chain shotgun, you know what, let's get a chain shotgun. Yep, we'll do that. It kind of feels like I'm scamming these people, but like, who cares? <laughs> You know, whether these these eggs hatch or not, they'll have to find out themselves. Should've should have read the fine text. Right, next year is start. First spring, once again. And we have magically survived the first winter. There we go, limestone, large steel. It, the furniture, finisher bears a portrayal of Catherine and Cat selling goods to Pack Wara with greedy and intent. Pack of walruses on the lower part of the image. Okay, the trait between Catherine and Cat on the 1st of December. Okay. So, all, from all the things that happened this year, the most noteworthy thing that we did with these people is trading. On the 1st of December. I think that's the trade that we got the Giga Eggs from, right? So, you know what? He does have a point. That was a pretty good trade. You know, you, you know I'd expect... I, I, I kind of expected them to have, like, my death as the most noteworthy thing that, that happened this year, but no. Oh, the death of Lofo? Who's Lofo? We already forgot about him. <laughs> oh, he gave us a gift. He gave us uranium. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I do find it quite silly how in, in this game, like, uranium, like, there's no such thing as radiation. So, yep, yeah, you can have a chunk of uranium, but, like, guess what? No radiation, so, yeah, we get just get it for free. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they were, like, they noticed they were being scanned, and they were like, you know what? Screw that. Get radiated. <laughs> Unfortunately for them, what they didn't know is that we are immune to radiation in this game. So, screw you. Let's get a chain shotgun. Beautiful. We're slowly upgrading to gun. Okay, so we've got a decent food going on. I mean, we right now, for some reason, again, the game still thinks the polymers are food source. But whatever, like, just keep them that way. Like, it's not gonna matter right now. But I do have corpses here, right? Yes, I have animal corpses here, but... In, oh, yeah, it's just that none of them died yet. Right, okay, I think it is slowly time that we start making some decent looking dinosaur pens. The problem is, I don't know where we can place some nice pens. We don't exactly have a lot of good areas. No, we can, we can have this as a... We'll have this as a pen.
get some wood here. Okay, okay, this Giga has been trained as well. I will put you to team uh, Grave. Uh, team Blue for now. Because yes, in, it is true that Joker can kill people now. I can deploy him to combat, but... Right now, you kind of don't want the, the baby Gigas to start killing people. Because they will likely get themselves killed in return. Okay, why is this place so filthy? I did put a rose in there, but... Seems like these guys just don't... I don't know what happened here, but it's just dirty as hell. Right. You know what we should do is that we should just assign one dinosaur to everyone else. You know, th yeah, that's what we should do. Uh, like every clan member should get a pot in the dinosaur. So all of you guys get one animal bed to our beds, and you everyone can have their own like little pet dino. It's a dinosaur partner. Kind of like how in Dinotopia, everyone has their own partner dinosaur. It is impressive. There we go. Okay, so we have that. I want to place something over here. There's a bit of open space here. Not so sure what I'm going to put in there. It's nice that you live close to Japan. You can easily visit the Dino Expo. Yeah, that's what I did last year. I don't think there is anything this year, though. Oh, you know what I should do? is I should actually just move all these tents over here. Yeah, these can be... These can be, like, small, like... Houses that we can live here. Yeah, let's get rid of all these potatoes. I don't know why the hell I did that. Make some paths. Like this. And we're gonna have another pathway that goes down like this. We gotta make sure that the game actually look uh, that our village looks nice. Okay, it's not about productivity. Okay, no problem, no point in surviving if our bases look like absolute garbage. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ooh, some steel fences? I mean, why not? So I think what we're gonna have is this cage is gonna be our main cage for the dinosaur. Like, the majority of the larger dinosaurs are gonna look like- are gonna be here. Like the T-Rex and Brachydeos. This is where they're gonna live. So, like this. Here, up here. Let's put all of our stuff here. So I think once we get like more slaves, we can have all this, this, this over here is gonna be like the living quarters. Up there is where we can work, and up there is like I don't know some other like buildings and stuff. So I think down here is where we can have everyone that's gonna be in our village is gonna be living in here. Just just tie in with the theme. Looks nice.
Have a little tents up here. Reinstall you over here. Right, so I, th I think what we're gonna have here up, up here this pen is gonna be for the smaller dinosaurs like the chlorosaurus and down here is gonna be our main hunting dinosaur zone We might be able to use this as also as a dinosaur pen. Let's move these tables down here. Okay, yeah. The table I don't think a table blocks the power thing. Let's just have a little picnic table outside. That looks nice. Again, I, I want to make the I want to make this game look real as realistic and nice as possible. It's it's realism guys, realism. Oh, they dug out all the metal here. So, is there any other metal? Not gonna lie, we might actually have to be careful of how much metal we use. I'm not actually seeing a lot. Uh, there, never mind. There's a bit more here. And yeah, there's a more like over in that area. There's a bit there, a bit here, but yeah, I mean it's nothing to be, nothing too serious. But just, just, just gotta keep in mind, Lofo. Build another door here. Oh no, that's not gonna fit, is it? Is smithing? Get plate armor? Or can I... Yeah, I need plate armor to get dinosaur plate armor, right? Cargo pods? What do we get? A guar leather tail cat. What the hell is a guar? Right. I know that some of those, uh, it's, it's probably because, like, th some of the leathers and stuff from the mods that I have installed. Like, I don't have the dinosaurs. I don't have the creatures. But I do have the mod itself because the mod adds in some biomes and stuff like that. And I think that's why I still have this leather and stuff. Okay, just another house for now. I don't think we're gonna use this. There's no one that's living in here for now, but still. Rule with Rimworld, you can never have two less houses. You'll probably end up using these houses for one thing or another. Can I not build it up? You know what? I want to make it a bit closer. It looks a bit off. Uh, let's build it like this.
There we go. No bridge required. It seems like we need more wood. Yeah, we, we're chopping down all the wood. No, there's more wood here. It's just that no one is using them. Right. Let's put you to blue as well. So I think what we're going to do is that blue are going to be animals that aren't going to fight in battle. Like, they, ha they have the potential to start attacking as a last dish resort, but I wouldn't use them in battle. Purple dinosaurs are the ones that are required to be in pens. Red dinosaurs are the ones that I'm actually going to be actively using in battle. Yeah, let's sort them out that way. Can I have, like, aquatic nutrient pipe? Oh, wait, there are subterranean nutrient pipes? Oh, my God. You could do that? Oh. <laughs> I didn't know that was an option. Wow. Okay. I, they, they cost double the, ma the amount, but it looks so much cleaner. What the hell? Why did I not know this? I feel so stupid. I didn't even know there was you could do that all along. There we go. I didn't even have to make the pipes look. But I know that the power condols are required to be on the ground. Yeah, because that's the way the, uh, the game is designed for so far, but... Oh, fire? Oh, shit! Why is there a fire? Guys, 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 wake up, wake up, wake up! There's a fire, w what happened? Oh, fault in electric condol. Oh no, everything's burning down. Guara, Guara. It's overheating. Guys, 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 it's it's really hard. It's it's really hard. Get it get outside. Everyone's burning. Oh god, right. You focus Just, just melee attack this then. Oh god, okay, right. Uh Yeah, everyone try to put out that fire. Well luckily there wasn't anything important in there. And this, humans and dinosaurs, this is why we don't build with wood. Alright. Well, that sucks.
What was this? Okay, that was the... You know what? Let's make an electric tailor bench. It's better than a wooden... Than a regular one anyways. Okay, power conduits is good. Pipe networks. It's not. Okay, yeah. There we go. We might actually have to build more of these. Okay, we need more metal. How many miners do we have? Right, Majunga, focus on mining right now. Since you aren't crafting, might as well stop mining. We need every bit of steel that we can get. Okay, not so sure why you needed the treatment there. Pono, let's see which dinosaur you can, you'll get. No, you'll get Nuggies. Aguero gets Brachio. Nippono has Nuggies. Goyle has uh, Joker. Vectro gets Guardian. And Toba gets Twitter. Right. And every time we get a new person in our, in our tribe, we'll give that guy their own dinosaur too. <laughs> Sammy's Peace Talks. Sammy Gerador, Alpha Beast of Southwest Mon Kimonos, has sent us a manage, message. She wants to talk us. Uh, she wants to talk with us in a no nearby location. Okay. We'll respect you more if you send your leader to handle a negotiation. Well, I mean, to be fair, I don't think we have a we stand much of a chance considering our best talker has only six in terms of social. How far is all the peace talks? All the way up there. A poor negotiator may ca can cause more harm than good, or may even anger them. Well, I I think we are just gonna stay put in our little in our little crater here. Yeah, I doubt that we'll be able to get a good negotiation going on. None of our people are good negotiators.
There we go. We got all the pipes. Okay, we need to get another one of these. I can make a bridge out of cloth. I mean, all right. We'll do that. There we go. That should get us a lot of power. The villager's computer. You learned of an ancient terminal that contains information about the Triceraland. Surrounded by local village and by and the locals venerated. They aren't part of any major faction. Okay, I mean we'll equip it, but I don't know if we'll be able to do that. We'll accept the quest for now though. Right, let's don't use cloth. This cloth is absolutely useless. So how many clothes do we need to make? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We need to make twelve clothes. That is wild. So now you have dinosaur hot skin. So you get a bit of armor from that. So that's pretty neat. Every bit of armor counts. You know what the game needs to have? They need to make like like what what do you call those things? Like the the things that Minecraft you can make it with copper. You know, those things with, uh... I don't know what you call those things. Uh, lightning rods. Yeah, I don't know why you, why the game doesn't have those. I'd say we definitely need lightning rods in this game. And now we have die. So which means that we can make a beauty salon. I mean, honestly, like, it's completely unnecessary. We don't need to make an entire building just for customizing our characters, but still, why not? Yeah, but the problem is this, is this entire thing is over flooded. Right. What we need to do later in, in the game is that we need to make these moisture pumps and we need to put them all around the caldera. We'll, we'll have we'll have them like use every single bit of it. Okay, let's get rid of the campfire. Let's get a standing lamp. Lamps are better. Okay, we don't have, we have, only have one wood, okay. Let's get, oh my god, there's so much wood in here. We'll just mine out these. Right. We don't need all of it. Just a bit. You 
Okay, parasol wood? We don't have parasol wood. I guess it's because I was trying to make a bit... Yeah, I need to make a wooden fence instead of a metal one. Right, we got plate armor, so now we can get armored animals. So have a pen marker in here. That way this entire caldera is going to be one giant pen. So that means that we'll be able to have the bro brontosaurus roam around freely. Without having it to be hitched on th in this tiny post for the rest of its life. <laughs> because I honestly feel bad for having these galleys and all these animals be hitched here. I want them to be free. Oh, I never mind. Wait, we already have a styling salon. I actually forgot that, that we already have that. We don't need a beauty salon. At least not for now, so... Let's see. We can we can dye our clothes. Right, we can make a full pink guy. I mean, Goyle's favorite color is pink, so. Yep, look at that. <laughs> That's amazing, right? Majunga. Let's change your style. Let's shave your beard. No, without your beard, you know you look kind of weird, right? You know you get that. Your favorite color is purple. All right. I will give you uh, blue hair. Right. And if I color them with the dye, they actually get their favorite color buff. So that's that's pretty neat. It's a, it's a neat little buff. It's just plus one. So I don't think it, it matters a lot. But... There we go. Just get those little tiny bit of mood buffs. That's what we need. Just gonna have multicolored people roaming around. Alright, let's see what you want. Let's give you, uh... Purple hair. No, very bright hair, why not? <laughs> Favorite color is blue? There we go. Now you look like a Mosasaur. <laughs> okay, I'm back throw. Let's see. No, oh, Guara still doing that? There we go. I think you can now change your color. Right. Let's see. Let's get rid of your face tattoo. It just looks weird. Uh, hair. I, I can make a giant tower. That, that's that's beautiful. We'll do that. Uh, let's do that. Apparel. What's your favorite color? Also blue? I mean, what can I say? It's a nice color. There we go. Now everyone is wearing their favorite color. Except for Nippono. Right. Which we are going to do next. Favorite color is red. Okay. Can I give you like a green cap? Do I still get... Do you still get the buff? Okay, not enough dye. 
Oh, really? I mean, I'm pretty sure we have these which we can harvest. But... Three wild Gallimimus. It seems like these galleys are really common. I, I feel like I see them every, every now and then. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to make... Rename that. Main pen. We'll name a new pen. We'll call it the collecting pen. Right. The main pen. Collecting pen. Okay, and we can put every animal in here. So you are a collecting pen. You are... You can just be unrestricted. Yeah, since you are just going to be the dinosaurs that haul stuff. Giggle, you get to be in the main pen. Sue is also main pen. Brachiosaurus, main pen. Compi, you get into the collecting pen. Guardian, you also collecting pen. Right. There we go. I wonder if the guy, if the Protoceratops is actually going to go back into this area. To sleep. Or are they just going to sleep here? Right, let's haul all the meat in the hoppers. Yeah. I don't think anyone has died yet. Yeah, all these animals are just still alive. There's we don't have any predators, that's why. Surprisingly enough. And no, it doesn't seem like the dinosaurs actually die, uh, sleep in the pen. They sleep in the respective pen, instead of going all the way into these homes. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, there we go. I think that... Yep, I think that is going to be it for today. So, a lot of things did change since we played the, the game last time. We have a new recruit called the Bactro. Named after the Bactrosaurus Ornithopod. We're, get, we're getting electricity. We're getting power. We're slowly armoring up our dinosaurs. As you can see, they're, they're getting a bit of armor. We have built a little housing district. We have our main dinosaur pen. We've started building some pens. We survived our first winter. We got two giga eggs. And yeah, I think... Yeah, that is pretty much it for today. Pretty sweet, all in all. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today. So, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, may the Jurassic Sprint with you. Bye bye Woo! Okay, so now that I've played this game, before I end the stream, I do actually want to check out if there's anyone playing Primal Carnage right now. Because I want to play Primal a bit of Primal Carnage today. I wonder if anyone's playing Capture the Egg.
Okay, yeah, Rimroll is not responding. Whatever. Let's see. So we do have the Easter update. So let's actually check out the patch notes because this has to be one of the more sadder sad patch notes that I've seen so far. Right, the Easter update. Let's see. So the Tupa necklace got a buff. The capture of the egg has changed. So this is the one thing that I want to check out today. The capture of the egg because it's the one game mode that I've never actually seen played before. So that is very interesting. I want to play that. And yeah, more custom like must more like custom stuff, which is really I guess it's pretty nice, pretty neat. But like I don't really see about that too much. Uh, capture the egg will get, net you double extinction points. I don't think anyone cares. <laughs> Reduce roar cooldowns, so that's very interesting. So uh, they can roar more east more quicker. I guess that's pretty cool. Dinosaurs now spawn with a roar on cooldown. That that's pretty cool. So you can't charge him with a battle roar, whatever. Uh, Tupu Nectalus gets stamina restored and stuff drained. That's that's neat, because that a lot of things like unless you're really skilled, like you'd end up like crashing into enemies and you just die because you wasted so much stamina. I don't know what to carry the egg mode. This is interesting, but I think one of the biggest issue is uh was it this? I think it was this patch note because yeah I haven't played the counter Primal Carnage since. But they changed a bit of the spitter. So now the spitters take different aspects of spit. The dialo spit actually has been buffed. So now dialo spit now deal twenty damage instead of ten, which is good because like I cannot fathom like dialos actually being useful with ten damage. Like I had cases where people were just sitting uh, and hogging the medikits, and and they just out heal my spit, which was stupid. But uh, but the biggest issue with the game is is that they nerfed. The what is it? Where is it? The yeah, they they nerfed the Trigger Poison Dots. Yes, the uh, truly the the game has fallen. <laughs> just kidding, but yeah, Trag Poison Dots. I thought it was just the, my one weapon that I had, my secret weapon that no one else uses, and I just knew it was pretty good. But no, now Poison Trank Dots are completely blocked by Dinosaur Strong Points. You might not like, you might not notice that a lot, but like the Trank Dots. But how I usually got ended up getting the kills is by, like, tranking their tails. And it would actually add up to the poison dots and it would just kill me. Uh, kill the enemies with the po uh, poison stack. Usually that, because the trank dot, right, rifle, like, the trank dot rifle doesn't deal that much damage. You'd actually have to, at least for me, I had to try to hit the dinosaurs on the tails and stuff. Just trying to get that little DOT damage kill. But now that's impossible. That also means I can't dot like Spinos, Rexes, especially the Tyrants. Which is really sad because the Poison Dots are like the one main thing that I could use against the Tyrants. But now, I'm not, not so sure. Like I've played like I think one game after that. And I, I haven't been able to no realize that like the Tyrants seem way stronger without the Poison Dots. Like they still take the Poison Dot damage, it's true. But the problem is that the uh, Trank Dots themselves... They don't actually hit the sails and all that stuff. Especially the sails. Why don't you make it so that you can hit the sails? Because, uh, what, what am I even talking about? Look, Right, so you can hit the sails of the Spinosaurus with the Trank Dot. They don't deal damage anymore. Which is sad because Spinos are the ones that have the most health. And again, no people that capture the egg. You know what? Let's, let's just see. Right? Let's see. Capture the egg. Is there anyone playing capture the egg? Because I really want to play this game mode. It's the one game mode I've, I've never played. What is this? What is this game? Right. Let's see what this is about. Huh? Waiting for the next round begin. So. I don't know. Am I supposed to move these eggs over to that zone? Is that is that how it works? What is capture the egg? Oh, okay. Let's see. So, oh, it is the uh it is the outpost base. 
Oh wait, is is that why the, these game game maps have these random nests in the, on this map? What is this? E to use. Oh, egg stolen. Oh, okay. I have grabbed an egg. Do I do I do I look like I have an egg? I don't know. So where do I go? Do I have to do I have to return to the base? Is that how it works? Or do I have to grab the other egg as well? So I can't run while I have the egg. No, I don't think there was a nest that was that generated here. Oh, what? Egg stolen. Oh, I, I, I can pick up... I can, I can drop the egg to run. Okay, I see. So instead of fighting the dinosaur, you have... You can, you can drop the egg and start running. Okay, so that's how it works. Okay, gotcha. So you have to return to the base after you grab the egg. So I guess I, I do it like this. There we go. Captured an egg. So what if I move the other one? Do I just win the game? Is that how it works? But the dinosaur team also seems to have eggs as well. So do I just... Do, do, can dinosaurs steal human eggs? Like what? Well, it is pretty neat that I can actually at least like move around. Because I remember a long time ago when I first tried to play this game mode, the game wouldn't stop because there wouldn't be enough players. Now the game actually starts even with a single player, so... I guess that's the way you can grind points now? <laughs> I mean, they did say that you can get double evolution points. I, I, I Like, is that... Like, I don't think anyone does pl plays for the evolution points, let's be honest here. There we go. Oh, and that's it. <laughs> oh, no winning animation or anything. Yep, yeah, that's it. So I guess now I'm a dinosaur, right? Yes. Oh, I can be a spino? Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna be an Obi Raptor because it makes sense. Oh. Oh, okay. I have to wait. Okay. What is this? Is this a giant cake? It's, it's, it's time. Grab the egg. Yoink! Oh wait! So, oh wait! So oh and I, so like oh the dinosaurs don't protect the egg. I think. Can I do I grab the egg or? No, the dinosaurs are supposed to protect the egg. Okay, I see. Okay. That is a very interesting system of a game. It's a shame that not a single soul will actually play. What a shame. Okay, well, let's see what 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 the game is going on. Anything going on in the actual Primal Carnage games? We have we we could get to the chopper, right? We got get to the chopper. We don't have anything when it comes to deathmatch. 
Uh, we have deathmatch and get to the chopper. We have nothing in egg. I wish more people played the egg. It just sounds like an interesting game mode. But I'm assuming that there's something broken about that. Maybe it's unbalanced. That, that makes it so that no one wants to play it, I'm assuming. Hey, I actually hit him. Oh god. Kano? Ouch. Yeah, the Trank ru the Trank Dif uh, tr Trank Dot Rifle, Lofa, what? What's wrong with me today? It's just like, I, it's like I just can't speak. So frustrating. Oh god. Did that. You know, what, let, let's try the Pathfinder. Did they change the Pathfinder? Or is it the same thing all over again? Oh! Did they buff the damage? I gotta try to play as a Tupa as well. Yeah, but it it, it kind of sucks that they nerfed the poison rock dot rifle. Like I knew that they were gonna nerf it eventually, but I, I would have assumed they would just nerf the amount of ammo you can hold. Now it's only like as half as useful as it used to be. Oh well. Oh, wait, what? I didn't even hit him there. Oh! No, you don't. For some reason, I can't jump over here. It's like a bug. For some reason, like, there's, like, this invincible barrier here. That prevents you from occasionally jumping over. It's pretty annoying if you're running away for something. Oh, come on! See, this is what I meant! This invisible wall! Oh shit. Go 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 go. No you don't. No you don't. No you don't. No you don't. Oh, 
Oh, come on! Stupid shotgun. Oh, come on! Ah! Oh, what? Nice. Uh, yeah, the shotgun never hits. Yeah, not really the best. Yeah, I, I've seen people more more people playing the Tupa now, which is pretty nice. I always thought the Tupa was probably one of the worst classes to play as, but yeah, now I'm seeing a lot of people actually playing it. That makes me feel good. Oh, oh, nice! Finally, an actual kill. I would say that the shotgun actually requires a better aim than the sniper. Because it is technically all about timing. I don't know what to, how to feel about this. Especially considering the shotgun is usually the guy... The rip and tear weapon. But now it's more like snipe and aim. Yeah, five damage with the shotgun. That is indeed the shotgun numbers. Okay, let's try playing as a 2 point back plus. Let's see how good it is. Okay. You know what, Lofo? You might as well turn off your avatar here for now, because... Notebook plus avatar doesn't really... With the, with, with the VTuber avatar, it's not exactly the best. It tends to, it tends to like, get a couple frame drops. Like, it's, it's not something significant. But, like, you guys won't notice that, but... I, as a player, notices there's like a slight delay, so... That actually messes up the game plan a bit. Let's see how the Tupa is. Oh, oh shit, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Didn't even see that. Here I come! And it didn't work. Oh my god, I'm still a glass cannon though! Here you go! Of course you hit no one. Right, love of that's hidden talent. Keep it hidden. <laughs> there was like six people. How do you not hit a single one of them? Come on. Here I come. Yep, that's that's Lofo for you guys. Second time's a chomp! Run! Ah! <laughs> Even with the stamina buff, I'd say that the Tupa is still not that good. 
Like, it still has the one crucial weakness. The, the fact that, like, you since you are a flyer, you are very easily visible to other people. But at the same time, you have to charge headfirst into other people to do actual damage. It's like playing as a Kano, but with all the disadvantages and none of the advantages. Outside of the fact that you can fly. I mean, to be fair, the Kana also has a huge disadvantage. What the hell was that? <laughs> did, did, a, did a shotgun just jump out of nowhere? I think they did. Right. Can I be, can I be a Spino Rex? Yeah, there's a cooldown, right? So, fun fact. I think there's a, roughly a 30 second cooldown between every Tyrant gameplay. So, every time a Tyrant dies, if you don't see any Tyrants, just keep spamming the click. Like, in like 10 or 2 seconds, 10 or 20 seconds, you'll probably end up seeing the Tyrant. Yeah, see, there we go. <laughs> this is how you play as a tyrant. Well, how to get to start to play as a tyrant. Lol. You seriously thought you could hide from me? <laughs> At least make it less obvious, man. Yoink. Yoink! There we go. Oh, Trank. Trank. Trank gun. Not good. Not good. Oh my god, there's so many people. So many people. Get the hell out of there. I'm, I'm seeing a dot on my ass, so I'm assuming, yeah, there's still people using Trank dots. Or all those, uh, poison dots or Trank dots, I don't know. They look kind of similar. Oh! There we go! Eat, 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 eat! Uh, I love playing as a tyrant. It's like the one class that I can say like I'm decent at. Usually I, I face flop head first. When I play as every other class. It is almost as if Lofo was meant to be a dinosaur. Oh shit, never mind. <laughs> the gods have spoken. They say Lofo shouldn't be a dinosaur. I should have not have said that I wanted to be a dinosaur. Here I go, here I go. Come on, Lofo. Nope, you missed. And I'll probably die in the next 10 seconds. There he is! Run! Yoink! Run, 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 run! <laughs> I, I saw you, cheeky scientist, right, with the bow. There's a reason I didn't use the roar there. Oh, shit! He was he's still there. He's still there, right? Coming in! Oh, come on, Lofa! Hit something! Come on! It can't be that hard!
It is a bit of a shame that I don't have the roar cooldown. I don't start off with the roar. How was didn't I hit a single person there? It is literal hidden talent, Lofo. How do you still fail that? Like, you literally jumped into a bundle of people. How do you fail this? It was so obvious. Uh, you could charge him blind and you'd still hit someone. And you still didn't hit. Right, come on. Come on. There's so many people. You just die. Right. It's really crazy how people play as the Kano and the Tupa. Like, I can, get, I can get people playing as a Packy. Because it is more slippery. But with the, uh, with the Kano and the other guys... Oh my god, Lofo! Come on! <laughs> Hidden talent, man. Hidden talent. And worst of all, like, I don't even get the roar buff. Like, I don't even get to, like, I, I don't even guarantee a roar. If I die before I do the roar, I don't even get the assist. Come on! For frick's sake! <laughs> How do you not do this? There are so many people. How do you still fail that? Okay, come on. Trapper. Trapper. Yep. That is indeed the Tupanaculus experience. There's loads of people up there. I'm gonna strategically hide behind the trees and I'll zoom in from when they least expect it. Didn't really. They still expect it. It's crazy that even a shotgun killed me because aren't shotguns supposed to be ticklish? We all know that the shotgun shouldn't actually deal any significant damage. It should probably deal like 10, 20 damage. Because that's all the shotgun does when I play as it. What the? Oh, what? I somehow killed something. Okay. I don't know how that worked, but it worked. Oh! Oh, I'm doing it! Oh, I'm doing it! Oh, no! Not bad, Lofo. Not bad. You are actually doing something. I wouldn't say you were doing good, but you were doing something. <laughs> oh, my God. Freaking hell. Ah! How did you see me? A shotgun got me? <sighs> like that, it's just so insulting, right? I don't care if I'm killed by anything else. But if I'm getting killed by a shotgun, then it's just so insulting. Because, like, how the hell do you guys play as that thing? I remember, I've been playing this game for years and I still suck at it. Oh ho! Maybe not, maybe not, Lofo. I mean, they do say every cloud has a silver lining. What? Yoink! Yum! 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 Pick your eyes! 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 Hit Paro! I'm coming for you! There we go. Oh no. Run into a bunch of humans. The problem with the flies is that, like, you, everyone can see you. The raptors and, like, even, heck, even Rexes. If you're, hi if you're hiding well behind these trees, they can't see you. But the, the terrors, they always see you. And the fact that the hitbox is so shit too.
Come on. Yes. Ugh. <laughs> you are essentially a walking giant billboard. I'm at least I'm thinking I think I'm doing better than I used to. That's for sure. Because it does keep, allow you to get some cool decent combos. Because honestly, I'm not so sure how to buff the Tupa. Like the same goes with the Kano, but like Every single human being except for me seems to do, do decent at it, so maybe it is just a skill issue, but the Tupin and Kano, they have a very similar thing where I I, th I guess you'd have to approach it different, differently than other dinos. Because for Dalos, Ovis and stuff, you can you can pounce them, you can you can try to attack in front of them and try to dodge the bullets. With the Kano and the Tupa, that doesn't work. You have to attack them in a way where they can't see you when they hit you. Again, and that does, that's really hard if you're playing as a Kano or as a Tupa, because the Kano is is in a wit mishmash of becoming you are too big to be too small to be spotted, but at the same time you don't have as much health as a Taran. You're in this in this random spot where they where you're very easily killable. The fact that your turning radius is so shit. Makes it also pretty hard to, for you to, like, actually get up to a human. And the most infuriating part if you're playing as a Khan or a Tupa is, despite all that, despite everything the game is throwing at you, you still somehow manage to get all the way up to, up close to a person. And you still somehow miss. <laughs> and that becomes even stupider, considering that everyone every time someone else plays as a Khan, it feels like the hitbox is the size of the Grand Canyon. Like you, you'd be like all the way across from the Kano. Like you know, what? I'm I'm just gonna demonstrate it to you guys now, right? Because the Kano and the Tupa, they have shared exact similar issues. Because this is so strange. Because every time I've watched someone play, uh, play Primal Carnage, I've seen videos of people like playing Primal Carnage, like talking about like what classes they should play. Like everyone says, oh, play as a Kano. It's a fun character. Like. I, like, no, it's not. Kano is like probably the most like hardest creatures. But like, yes, if you who has like three thousand hours on Primal Carnage, and you probably played a lot with the Kano since back then you didn't have the Kano, Serato and the Paki. That's why you play you play so much with Kano that you know how to play with it. But now it's 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 not that good. Like the I'd, I'd say the Paki is better. I'd say the Serato is better in both of aspects. The Serato is more tankier than the Kano, so it actually gets to do more punishing. And it does the tail swipe, which can dish a lot of decent a lot of damage. If you want to be more faster, you get to be the Paki. You can also swing your head and it will actually deal more damage. Because the Kano skill, like, it deals less damage if you hit someone with the Kano while you have the roar. Yeah, sure, it does heal you, but what's the point if it, if it literally tickles you? You know, let me let me play the double barrel. But yeah, I do not recommend playing as the Kano as the beginner. There's some dinosaurs that you should just not touch. That is the Tara and the Tara and the Kano, definitely. I mean, to be fair, the guy that I saw, the guy to Primal Carnage. He also said that Spino is the worst tyrant, which is obviously false. Spino is the best tyrant. So my advice when it comes to Primal Carnage players is that for human classes, never play as a Pathfinder, which is kind of ironic considering I'm playing as one, but I'm just playing it unironically as a joke right now because it's just funny seeing a shooting a raptor like point blank in the face and it's watching it deal like 10 damage. Yoink! 
Yoink! Yoink! Ah, dang it! <laughs> Come on, kill it! It's almost dead! Right, you know what? Let's play as a flame soul. Right. But the tyr for the human classes, I'd say... Uh, I, I used to say play as a Trank Dart, but now the Trank Dart, I don't know, it's pretty mediocre, I'd say. Uh, Commando is always a decent good decent guy to go. But what I, I did notice with the pa uh, with the Commando, it's just it just doesn't really feel like it, you're doing enough damage to kill a Dino. You oh you get some you get some amazing assists. Don't get me wrong, but actual damage to finish off the Dino, I just think it's not enough usually. Maybe it's because it dishes out more damage over a long time period. Trapper was also a decent choice considering you could one-shot dinos. But they nerfed the trap gun, net gun, so it's not really that good now. And yeah, let's don't also forget that they are, the humans actually have something called a stun gun. You know what? Let's play as a stun gun after I die with this one. Because I want to talk about how garbage that weapon is as well. Like, it is literally everything about a net gun, but it's actually just worse. Like, why does that a weapon exist? I have no idea. Let's play as a stun gun, right? <laughs> Look at that, zero trappers, right? Ah, that's beautiful. Let's play as the beautiful stun gun. So essentially, yep, you have to like charge it up. And then fire. <laughs> so, and it, notice that this actually doesn't kill the dinos. You, it stuns small dinos, which you have to finish off. By knifing at them or like doing something with them. Oh well, that doesn't that didn't work. Ah, uh, yep. See, what the hell was that? Right, see, I have to charge the gun up. I would, I would, I would argue that it's even worse than the net gun in the terms that you actually have to charge up, and like, if you don't shoot it within a certain time frame, you actually like, it doesn't work. It just fires automatically, which is probably the worst kind of weapon. If you think about it. If, 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 because if you don't fire a weapon in that time frame, you just die. And the reward is that you you essentially get what's essentially a bad net gun. Because it doesn't one-shot dinos. Heck, it doesn't even one-shot, like, bigger dinos. I think the only thing that, that it does one-shot that the net gun can't is Packy. Packies, I think, is the only creature that... Oh. Yeah, yeah, it does, like, 100 damage, so... Like, it does, like, decent damage, too. You don't have to charge it fully. To do more damage. But, like, why bother, man? Like, see? Right in front of a dino. You can't try to, like, net it or anything. You have to try to like aim it perfectly, which is just ridiculous. <laughs> I do find it quite silly how they try to make humans more and more skill. Like you require more and more skill to play as it. But there is obviously dinosaur classes that don't require skill. 
Like, by skill, I mean, I'm not saying that those dinosaurs are just no life bad picks or anything. Like, those picks being, like, uh, I'd say the Raptor, the OV. I mean, let's see, there's a bit of strategy with the OV, you've got to be careful, but it is true that you just roar and just bite around. And that's pretty much all you do. Rolls with the, uh, rolls with the tower, you have to grab the guy, you have to, like, send it flying, and then watch out for the stam. If you get just hit by a single bullet, you lose the kill. Like, there is a way, like, this is the why I don't play Zaterra. Because there's so many convoluted steps that you have to get just to do one kill. Whereas with the Raptor, you can just bite three times. And that big unbalance is what I just don't really like about this game. Like, there's such a convoluted way of doing things that can be just done very simply. Oh god. Yep. The revolver is pretty fun to play. It does a decent amount of damage. I'd say the revolver does amount as, uh, about as much damage as a shotgun should be doing. So essentially, instead of being a small revolver, think of it as small, like, dual shotgun. It's crazy how a revolver does actually more damage than a shotgun, if you think about it. <laughs> but yeah, like, I remember a long time ago, the Pathfinder was the best class. Like, by, by, like, like that, that was a long, long, long time ago. Like, I'm tell, I'm talking about, like, a bunch of years ago, like, back when I was, like, in middle school. Really think, makes me think of how old this game is. Man, this game is old. Still as fun as ever, though. Ah, dang. <laughs> See, this is, it's, it, it's essentially like a bat net gun, as I said. You have to aim, you have to launch it properly. But where else you could just pull out the thing and immediately fire it. You have to, even if you pull it out, you have to recharge it and then fire it. For the exact same result, which is just absurd. Come on, come on! Yes, there we go. Oh, yes, 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 come on! Yes! Let's go. <laughs> ah! See, triple kill with a net gun. Impossible with a stun gun. Like, stun gun should just remove the charge. Because even then, I'd say it would be lower than the... 
that gun because the stun gun you know the stun gun should just be a quicker less damaging uh stun gun uh net gun like there should just be a chance it fires faster than the net gun but there should only it should be only be a chance at, at just you trying to hit something sometimes you might get stunned some other times you'll just deal a bit of damage Maybe you can make it like a shotgun where it's, if, if you shoot right in front of its face, it's guaranteed to stun. Because you have the nut gun. There's no reason you should play as a stun gun if you have the nut gun. It's not like the nut gun is behind a paywall or anything. Yeah, I would say for human players, if you want really want to start off Primal Carnage, I'd say plays Commando, Paro, maybe Scientist with the Bow. With Dinosaurs, I would suggest playing as Dilo. Cryo can be a little bit frustrating since the spit drains more Stam. Raptor is definitely like my main recommended choice. Uh, it is impossible to fail to play as the Raptor. You were playing as a raptor and you kind of sucked that round. You'd suck with any other creature if you were in any other situation. No reasons not to play as a raptor, even as, even for advanced players. The one, the couple dinosaurs I would actually recommend you guys stay away is that, like any other tyrant that you're not trying to main. Because, like, as a Tyrant player, I've, I've played my, my share, fair share of Kano, uh, not Kano, Rex, Spino, and Acro. If you play with one Tyrant, and you move on to play a different Tyrant, it feels so much different. Like, the hitboxes feel so different. Oh, my. So, I would say just... just Play as one tower and just, just play with that one until the end. Spino was my pick, so I just keep playing as Spino. I, I tried playing as a Rex once. It just feels so much different because instead the Spino feels like it has like a much more further reach. Whereas the Rex has a much shorter but a much wider reach. So it just feels completely different. It actually just feels frustrating because you know that you can kill that thing if you were playing as a Spino, but you just, just can't. Ah, damn it. Right. Well, might as well show you guys how to play as a Kano and suck at it. <laughs> My gripes with the Kano is the fact, like, it's, it's again, I think with the Kano, unlike the Pathfinder, this isn't more of a game design issue. It's more of a, like, a creature issue. My skill issue. Like, this isn't the game's fault when, if I suck as a Kano. Or else when I suck as the Pathfinder, I just know it's the game's fault because... Unless you played, like, with the Pathfinder for, like, 2 billion years, it's impossible. To actually have a decent game as the Pathfinder. What the hell? How did I get a kill there? Mystery. This is exactly why I don't play as a Kano. You saw there how I saw so many people there? I slipped through it. I passed through every single one of them. Because the turning radius for the Kano is so bad. You have to rely on trying to get some ambushes. But if you're going to ambush people, why don't you just play as the Obi Raptor? Because if you pounce, you can just pin a player. Or heck, just play as a Raptor. It's slightly slower, but you get actually get to kill people with it. Okay. 
Nice. Oh, come on! See? If I was a Serata, I just... I probably would have just swung my tail. You can't or you can't? Alright, let's play as an Obi. Alright, let me show you how much different the game is played when you play as an Obi. But yeah, Kano is the one most frustrating dinosaur to play outside of the Terra. Oh, he was lucky there. Not so anymore. Oh, what the hell? Oh, they... How? How did you snipe me from all the way up there? That's wild. Okay. Right. Spino time. Spino is a bit slower than other tyrants. But it totally makes up for it for having the longest reach. And having a long reach as a... As a tyrant, is probably the best thing you could probably wish for. The acro is much faster, but also has such a low health pool. That you kind of just have to try and swipe by the people and just try to grab one and run. That's kind of the strategy you're going with. You can't grab people up there? Didn't know. Just have to play conservatively with the Spino, and you should be alright. Really. And if something gets behind you, just start running. You cannot hit things if you're not, uh, if they get you on the, on your ass. Yeah, that one was a bit of a trick shot there, but I still managed. Wouldn't, wouldn't really recommend doing that for beginners, but... Hey. Just showing something that you can do something like that. <laughs> and most of all, yes, you have to memorize where the, all the corpses are located. Like, you don't have to remember every single corpse, but there's gotta be some favorite picks of you that you just prefer to go to when you're low on health. Oh, bad choice, bad choice, Luffo. Bad choice. Did not have done that. Too many people here. Stop running. Where are you? But yeah, tyrants tend to take less damage if you shoot them in the tail. So, if possible, try to run. But keep the humans in your tail. 
And make sure that you're always the head your your head is always hidden. You can try to do something like this. Or you put your head inside of a rock or something so they can't hit you. It's a bit of a dirty tactic, but usually it works because if they actually get the headshot with a like an assault cannon or something like that, it deals a lot of damage. Oh, I can go I can go inside? I did not know you could do that. That is weird. How the hell am I supposed to go through that? That is wild, but yeah. Some some places in Primal Carnage you can do that. It's really weird. I don't know why. They're on your tail! Run, Luffo! Use your tail armor! Right. If I was anything else than a Spino, I probably would have died there. That is why t Spino is the best Tyrant. Right, who cares if you're a bit slow? You're, you're gonna be a big target anyways. Whether you play as a Spino or Rex or Acro, you're, you're a big target. Might as well go full on out on the tank aspect. Oh my god, I nearly died there. How the hell did I survive that? Didn't even notice I was so low on health. And again, this is why Spino is the best Tyrant. But mo again, mostly it's just up to personal preference. If you play more with the Rex than the Spino, you can probably say that the Rex is the better Tyrant. Like, every Tyrant has its moment, that's for sure. But having played all three, it just feels like it's it's either Spino or Acro. Rex is just kind of meh. There's a lot of cases where you can you think you can hit things with the Rex. You are just out of reach for the Rex bite, so it's just frustrating. Hello, Pathfinder. Yeah, you better start legging it. Daddy's coming. Over here. Yeah, over here indeed. Where are ya? Cheeky bastard. There you are. Gotcha. I see ya. Oh, you're next! Aha! Can't escape from the almighty Spino. This is a bad position in it you're in. Bad position. Bad position. Get stuck. If you're stuck, pretty much consider yourself dead. Which is kind of 
about running. Like, like, like if you're playing as a tyrant, it doesn't feel like you're playing as a dinosaur. You're, it feels like you're playing as a tyrant. If, if you know what I mean. What I mean. Like, it, there's a lot of things that just, just feels weird. Like, you wouldn't expect an actual dinosaur to be able to do that. But it's something that the tyrant can do. Other cases is something like it's just so stupid. Why doesn't the spine just just take a step back and crunch those people? No, you can't do that. You just gotta run forward. <laughs> so, like playing as a spino and tyrants, it feels a bit different than playing as an actual dino. But Cheeky. Come here. Yoink. Rip. That power was just dead on, on killing that acro, man. Okay, run! The moment you notice you can't hit the... Hit the guy with your bite, just, just run. It feels awkward, because you, you'd expect an actual dinosaur to be able to kill it, but just run. Telling you, no need to risk your life for a single kill. <laughs> Yoink! I see a scientist. Yoink! As you can probably notice that the Spino has a little bit of extra reach than when the actual snout hits the ground. Like, it's just something that you'll just have to get used to. Holy shit, that double barrel did a lot of damage. It probably, that, that was probably like a hundred times more damage than I would usually do with a shotgun. But look at that! That's how you play as a Spino. It won't hit times, but unlike the Rex and the uh, Acro, I, especially with the Acro, like the Acro does not allow for any mistakes. It has much lower health. The T-Rex, you can kind of get a, a, a pass by it, but the problem with the Tyrant, the, the, with the T-Rex is that you can't, there's a lot of cases where you can't actually hit anyone with it, so. Bite is very wonky. But yeah, I think that is going to be it for today. We played a bit of Primal Carnage. Honestly, always always fun to play extra bit of, bit of Primal Carnage on my streams. One of my favorite games ever, you know. It scratches the itch for dinosaurs. And action. But yeah, so I think that's going to be it for today's stream. I know it, 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 this today's stream wasn't exactly that good because... I just couldn't speak for frick's sake. I, I keep messing up my own words. Probably because I haven't streamed in a while, Lofo. That's what you get for not speaking English in a while. Because I oh, I never speak English outside of streams. So if I don't stream, I usually don't speak English. So I'm try when I when I try to go back come back into the game, I just don't know what to speak. Because I'm stupid, that's why. Right, so if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Comment down for subscribe. And until next time, may the Jurassic Spirit with you. Bye bye Is that rapper gonna come for me? Is he coming for me? <laughs>
I don't know how that Tupa missed me. Right. Want to go for another one? How do you still? How do you keep missing me? <laughs> Tupa, you sure you want to give another shot? Just kill me then. <laughs> Tupa was like, why the hell can I not hit him? 